guys, Paul here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Atom Zombie Smasher, which is kind of an old game, but it's an indie game. So, Steam profile. So we're going to be doing a new campaign. We're going to be doing an extended campaign, and we're not going to do any of that. I'm just going to click stop. So basically, the concept behind this game is there's a zombie apocalypse in the world, and you have to save people from the cities where the zombies are but as you'll see you get different things over time like mercenary so this is where we this is our base over here right this is where the zombies are that's all what mercenary we have so if we click into here and what you've got so you've got your city, and the dotted line around this helicopter shows where people will hear it from. So we're going to put it about there. Click done. The Z are zombies that are coming in through there. So as you can see, there's people walking, now going towards the helicopter. And then in, this is the goal you have to reach to complete the level. So on this one, it's ten, and it goes up. It gets to about seventy to a hundred normally, but that's in a normal campaign. So as I've said in the last video, you guys tell me what games you want me to play. So I play games that my viewers like and some games I like so whatever games you like tell me in the comment section below because then I might get a chance to play them move that there let's go so we might get one more load of them nope because as you can see, the Z are chasing these humans. Yeah, probably not a good idea to put that there. Now it's night time. Because as you can see, at night time, Z coming from everywhere. And the only way to conquer territory is by killing all Z during the daytime or night time, just before everyone dies. But as you could see before, when it the first location appeared, it had a one. There's a total of four. But as, if it gets to four, there is no humans left. There is just zombies, and you have to eliminate all zombies by night time. So we've got a level two outbreak, which has more, which is rare for the second one to actually be a level two outbreak. But we got these nice, lovely mercenaries. Which we're going to put down here. And up into there. So what they are. We've got now, we've now got snipers. Which will shoot at the Z. In the blue range. They had. So if I hover over the snipers. You can see that blue range. So any zombies in that blue range will get shot eventually if they stay in the range I hate the rain okay as you can see the Z are being killed which is what the green is So snipers are doing their job. So I'm just repositioning the si snipers to aim above the evac zone or evacuation zone. So then any zombies getting close should get shot eventually. And we can then get more people out 
So as you can see, it's night time now, so there is a lot more zombies coming in. And because this was level 2 outbreak, there was more population at the start and there was more zombies. As I said, you can get up to a level 4 outbreak. So we're just looking at this. And I've been... Some of you viewers who I go to school with have been telling me to be more enthusiastic. So you get your wish. New mercenaries! No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm not gonna add that act on. So, you've got these, which, when you get enough points, you get unlocks. Like, for the zombies, when they get 500 points, they get large scale Z outbreaks, which are level 4 and 3 outbreaks. And then, when they get 1,500. Some of the buildings turn red, and as I've just got dynamite over here, if you blow up them buildings, they will blow up a whole area around it. And then there's mutants that come when they get to their last one. So we've got two next to each other. So we're just going to go into this one. Because it's a small one, and we're going to... No, we don't want you there. So what I'm going to do is aim it just across where the Z come in. And as for my dynamite, what I'm going to do put it the entrances of the place I'm going to have my helicopter one where I'm going to have my helicopter so if we just get this just put it there and we'll click whoops come on to my other monitor there And we'll click enter. So here we go. Snipers should be doing their jobs. Dynamite there, the regional effect. And kill with him. I'm just gonna repos reposition these so they are aiming at the helicopter so whenever zombies get close like that, they get shot. Bang bang, zombies dead. Gas ruptures are sometimes helpful for the mutant zombies when we get to them. Boom. So the Z actually moves slower this in this day because each time there's new out new outbreaks, it's a new day, and each time you do one of the, try to solve one of the outbreaks, it's a new day. So today the Z move a lot slower, as you can see. And here comes night time. So we're just going to wait for this to finish off, which is either when the night time ends, which is in 51 seconds, or when all the population is dead. So here we go, probably going to be the last load of one, because that guy's dead. Right, there we go, 62 silver. Helicopters ready to be upgraded. We're gonna go load time. 
So now the load time is 0 0.3 seconds per person. So, yes, we've got the mercenary I was after, which basically the like ground troops which can defend your evac helicopter. So if we go for this one, so if we conquer this, it's going to be good. So as you can see, you can place your these mercenaries where you want to. So what I'm going to do is go to and put next to one there, and put these just there. So then here we go. Snipers will shoot them. These, whenever the um, Z get close, will shoot the Z. You had a what? They had a wider coverage there, so I'm going to put them back there. Let's quickly move these over to there. Kaboom. So you. The reason the mercenary I've just got, which is infantry, is my favourite, is because simply you've got two zombies left out of all of them. You can just move them around. Right. I could move them down there if I wanted to. And any zombies within the green zone, same with the snipers as the blue zone, will get shot. So as you can see, they're going to, they're going ham on these zombies. But if you have an explosion where these mercenaries are, these mercenaries will die. Sad, I know. Shame they have to die, but they have to die. It's the same if you were in an explosion. I'm not saying you would die, but you might die. Sniper, so we're gonna go refire time, because we all we are all about them bullets being pelted at them zombies. Here's another mercenary. This is an artillery cannon. I will show you what that does when we get it. Which as you can see now my mercenary roster has now five. But now there's there's apparently some on away at a mission which is my dynamite crew. So what we've got this round is snipers, infantry, artillery and eva Kelly. I think this is going to be a nice one. Yep. All three in a row. I'm probably going to be shouting for for something to eat. So as you can see, the artillery, it's got a danger close zone where you cannot fire your shells. Right, so here we go. Bang, bang. Artillery, it won't auto fire. You need to fire them yourself. So, what we're going to do is fire one up there. Kaboom. So, as you see, that took out a lot of Z. So now it's night time, but I think we have a chance of surviving this 
because we've got our infantry. And you may be wondering, Paul, why aren't you moving your inventory, inventory or firing your artillery? Because I know I've won. 52 out of 50 needed to be rescued. I know I've won. I'm not going to fire anything but my artillery. Bye bye Zed. Beep, beep, I've won. Surprise. I got bronze medal again. So we're going to go arrival time this time. Gonna keep them even. And thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye bye. See you all next time. Au revoir. <laughs>